Hi guys, Axel Rider, hope you're doing well. Now this week is my full review of the Sinus Connect 125 and it's a traditional style scooter that I would uh, describe it as. So I'm going to take it out and let you know what it's like. So when it comes to the over rev on acceleration it does rev quite highly like they all scooters do. Uh, but it's very, uh, it's actually, <laughs> it's, quite, it's good fun actually. I do enjoy scooters riding around town and when I first got this bike I was thinking oh dear not too sure about this one uh, but in fact when you get on it and ride it it just makes perfect sense for city commuting you know to the point where I'd actually like one myself just to bomb around on and they cost next to nothing to run uh, 22 pound tax every year as opposed to my 105, I think it is now, for my uh, bigger bikes, my 750 and 850. Uh, so for that reason, you know, it's, it's really good, really cheap, honest uh, commuting. We'll see what it's like in this review on the motorway, maybe, and uh, in the town traffic, and I'll do a walk around at some point as well. If you haven't been here before, drop me a like on the video would be really appreciated and also if you could subscribe that would be great if you could become part of uh, part of my little community so let's move straight over to what this bike is like riding in the town for easy commuting from A to B in the city this this little scooter is uh, it is good fun You'll, you'll look forward to going to work on it and you'll look forward to going home on it as well. It is very narrow as well. The mirrors are okay. It, it, they, I'm finding that it tends to give me a view over my uh, elbows. Could be better, could be worse. Oh, that's kind of you, my friend. Thank you very much for moving over. Cheers. So they could be better. Uh, the braking is excellent. Uh, it's, it bites really strongly. I think it might be combined braking on this bike as well. It certainly seems to be with, with braking the way it is. And uh, yeah, I mean steering is positive. You know, it's not like you got the little 12 inch wheels. Uh, I, I guess I might as well answer this question now. Would I prefer this bike or the Sinus Hero? And the jury's out on that one because I prefer the look of the Sinus Hero but I prefer the uh, everything else about riding the scooters I do prefer the Sinus Connect so I'd want a Sinus Connect but I'd probably go for a Sinus Hero myself not that this is about me of course this is a, just me explaining about the bike to you um, and also the suspension uh, is, is better on the Sinus Hero but you haven't got the big wheels like you have on this one here the Sinus Connect so, um, oh, jury's out really. Right, I'm going to move on to some faster roads now and let you know what it's like out on B roads and the motorway, etc. Here we go, let's open her up. 28 miles an hour, 32. 38. Now obviously you're not going to be doing this very often, are you? But I still need to show you what the top speed is like and how it handles and all the rest of it. So, uh... Start planning to move out now. So I haven't got a screen on this bike. I do believe there is a screen available to my knowledge. Uh, we're doing 56 miles per hour at the moment, indicated. I'm still flat out here. And actually what you'll find with scooters is that you don't really get many vibrations because the engine is connected to the rear spring arm. So it's not like you got the uh, engine connected to the main chassis like you have on most other bikes. Oh, bit of a downward hill. Oh, look at this, look. 66, 68. Cool, well done. Granted, that was slightly downhill, but, you know, still. It's not bad, is it? It's going really well, this bike, you know? So although the acceleration isn't great, the actual top end is is pretty good. 
Yeah, about 65 miles per hour I'm getting, top end, which is comfortable for this, you know, type of work here. If you tuck yourself in behind a lorry and just keep yourself safe there, keep your observations up in the mirror, then uh, yeah, I think you'll be quite comfortable doing this. <coughs> right, from dual carriageway out onto the motorway, it's going to be the same thing, isn't it? But I might as well take you around and we'll see what it's like. What a lovely day to be out on a bike. Pretty much perfect really. Not too hot, not too cold, and bright sunshine and dry. Ideal. Right, we're winding her up again. Well, what's this lorry doing here? Is he going to let me out, is he? Give him a little wave to say thank you. It's very kind of him. Again, 65 miles an hour. A nice LCD display there. And again, it's not rattling around or vibrating. It's actually more, <laughs> more enjoyable than what I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be revving the nuts off of it. And, uh, and it wasn't going to be very comfortable. But actually, it's the total opposite of what I thought this bike was going to be like. I could quite happily sit here for quite a long time actually very comfortable so again with the Sinus Hero if I was doing this I don't think it would be uh, it wouldn't feel as pliable to this type of work because it's got the smaller wheels it's going to be more twitchy this is really happy doing this and even though I've got a bit of a headwind here and it's going slightly uphill now it's still quite comfortable so I'll leave that there but uh, yeah, I mean, if you're going to do the old jaunt on the uh, motorway or dual carriageway, maybe junction to junction, then actually this, I, I mean, I personally feel this would be okay. If you're a new rider, then you probably won't do that anyway, because you won't like, I mean, first of all, if you're on L plates, you wouldn't be on the motorway like I am now. And secondly, y you know, you need a bit of experience really before you start taking slower bikes on the dual carriageway or motorway and just a bit of uh, road experience shall we say so well done Sinus Connect you surprised me there right let's move over to the walk round now okay guys let me take you through the scooter in my garage today because it's raining outside it's the last night i've got it i've had it for three weeks now so this bike is uh, 2300 pounds and plus on the road costs for that i think you get a you know a, a good commuter um, if you're somebody that's on the fence and wants to try biking then i think the sinus connect is a very good uh, cheap way of getting into it uh, for example for me i could probably get on the road with this bike, with insurance, uh, on the road costs and tax uh, for just over two and a half thousand pounds. So uh, for that reason, I think that that's pretty uh, decent value. Uh, suspension is all right. We have got the normal scooters uh, up and down struts here on both sides of the swing arm in a typical scooter set out. I'm five foot eight and I've got a 30 inch inside leg measurement. Uh, the seat height is around 780. I measured that myself. I struggled to find the information on that. And the uh, scooter weighs 120 kilograms. Uh, obviously it's light, you know, 120 kilograms is light anyway, but also the uh, mechanics and the engine is hung on the rear swing arm and uh, it's all very low down. So it's an LCD dash and uh, we have the indicator lights flashing away there at the right hand side and then the left hand side. Hazards there. Mm, bit of a funny horn. <laughs> uh, fuel gauge down the bottom here. Mileometer, time and the speed. Very, very prominent. Really nice to have a decent speedo like that that you don't have to look too much. Even your granddad could see that, couldn't he? So, uh, yeah, quite a nice setup there. And obviously we've got the buttons here to adjust the different things here. 
Uh, I'm finding the seat comfort really quite nice as well. Uh, not bad at all. It's nicely put together, the seat actually. Nice stitching. And uh, even for the pillion, actually, it, it, it's quite nice. I can't quite get my full face helmet in under the seat there. It doesn't quite close. That's quite common for scooters, though, of this capacity. It is for taller riders as well, as opposed to Sinus Hero, which was a little bit smaller uh, physically. Whereas on this one, uh, it's fine. You know, even if you're six foot, you're, you won't have any issues on this. But overall, um, I mean, for, for 2,300 pounds in the current market, I mean, I've actually looked online and I've found some low mileage ones for uh, around 1,800 pound. Also, we've got these flip out pegs here for the pillion. Most people will be on L plates anyway, riding this style bike. So you probably won't be using them, but the option is there. And as I say, it is quite a comfortable uh, bike for a pillion to go on, believe it or not. LCD dash and also LED headlights. And I think the indicators are as well. Let's turn her on. Got daytime running lights. Yep, LED indicators as well. It's just a starting up process there. Uh, yeah, it's just a good, honest uh, commuter. It's not trying to be anything other than that. Got a side stand and we also have a centre stand as well. So you've got the best of both worlds there and again, that's in with the £2,300 plus on the road. So again, very good price. The engine produces 9.6 horsepower at around 8,000, if I remember correctly. Uh, again, you know, that's about right for a 125, you know, CC bike. So you're all good there. And most importantly, for peace of mind, you have the Sinus seven year warranty, which is pretty damn impressive. Uh, now, to my memory, that I think that is for uh, labour and parts in the f on the first year, but then the following six years is parts only. Uh, but again, it's still a good peace of mind, isn't it, that you have that to fall back on. With it being a scooter, we shall see what is under the seat. Let's open her up. It's a nice seat, very nicely put together, that. Quite comfortable as well. Right, so under the seat, obviously, we have the bike's user manual there which is quite uh, good information in there actually a toolkit which was just basic stuff you know it's one socket box spanner and and a common 14 mil spanner there for whatever that might be used for and uh have a fuel cap up here as well looks much like the honda one which i had actually on my honda dylan back in 2004 so yeah we have that there will a full face lid fit in there i don't know let's try it that's pretty good but only just yeah it just about goes but i have to bend it in a little bit there but that's all right that's pretty good we can get a color matched top box with this scooter as well so it should be okay but very very useful to have that extra space as you do on most scooters so that's pretty good one of the issues that i do have with the scooter is that the first service is 300 kilometers for the oil change replacement and then it's 3,000 kilometers after that so what's that 180 miles 1800 miles after that so far too frequent uh, if it was me I'd get the first one done uh, I wouldn't advise this you take your own risk but I would probably learn how to change the oil myself that's the truth of it I'm not going to be going to the uh, workshop every 1800 miles to get the oil done so that's one of the issues I do have with the scooter it's a shame really because you know essentially it's a good cheap run around so yeah I mean the Sinus Connect you know what did I think I mean I'll be quite honest with you when it first turned up I thought oh this looks a bit uh, not my cup of tea um, would I have one now I, I would uh, there's other bikes I'd have in in front of it because it just isn't you know, I've done this style bike and I've moved on to other things. But uh, as a commuter, brilliant. You know, it really is very good for going to work and popping in town. And, you know, I've popped in town twice on this and it's just wonderful. You can just pull up outside, you know, and park your bike in a parking bay. Uh, you should chain up, is advised, of course. But, um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. You know, I've got the uh, USB port as well, tucked away in the carrier under seat storage 
it's just cheap, honest fun there. So obviously resale value will be a lot less than what you get with other brands, uh, but then you're not paying the big money in the first place, are you? So, I mean, you could probably buy two of these uh, Sinus Connects for the price of a, a 125 Japanese brand, you know, so that, that's, that's one way of looking at it, isn't it? So uh, thank you very much to Sinus uh, for lending me the scooter for three weeks. They've been really generous and uh, always been really good to me. Um, yeah, so I guess all I can say is that please like and subscribe. It'd be great. And thank you ever so much for watching and getting this far in the video. And I will see you next week for another video, Sunday at 4 p.m. Thanks, guys. See you next week.